Mm. You again. Don't we see enough of each other at work? Well, work's not over. The network wants you to make an appearance at a cocktail party for charity tonight at the Metro Court. What's in it for them? Eli Love is going to be there, so there'll be a lot of press. They'll get to see the warm and fuzzy side of Samantha McCall. The car will pick you up in an hour. Hmm. You go be warm and fuzzy. That I'd like to see. I'm busy. Yeah. So I see. Looks like Jason couldn't kick you out of here quick enough. Elizabeth says that you... Maybe I'm not so good at taking care of myself when you're not around. Jason did not ask me to leave. I broke up with him. And when he gets home, I don't want to be here. Yeah, you broke up with him because you knew he was about to dump you. No, I made a choice, which means your big plan for revenge fell flat on its face. Thanks to you, I can live on my own very nicely. You're welcome. That must really drive you nuts, huh? You think I murdered your sicko dad for the money, and now you sign my very generous paycheck. It's always about the money for you, isn't it? You're still the gold digger my father married. Well, how uncharacteristically kind of you to leave here without a fuss. That'll make things so much easier for Jason to have Elizabeth and her kids move in with him. <laughs> Elizabeth won't be moving anywhere. And that relationship will never see the light of day. Please don't sit here and list all the reasons I should claim my son. I think about them every day. The bottom line is Jake is safer if nobody knows he's mine. Yeah, but you can understand. Oh, oh. Just get the hell out. You know what? I just wonder why you seem so sure about Jason and Elizabeth. He clearly adores his little boy, and it's no secret he thinks Jake's mommy's pretty special. Jake's mommy is a coward. She can't handle the danger that comes when you live with Jason. Can't be any less dangerous than being married to a cop. Jason thinks so. And besides, she's got two kids to worry about now, and then there is her prissy reputation. If she admits the truth about Jake, then she'd be outed as the lying, cheating slut that she is. So, no, I don't think she's going to admit the truth about sleeping with Jason, and I don't think Jason's ever going to claim his son because he thinks that he's safer this way. Jason's willing to give up a little boy that means everything to him. My heart would be breaking if I weren't so angry with him. Thanks. Hey, I thought you were going to be my driver. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can see this is a bad time. No, no, come on in. Come on, what's going on? Well, I just, I wanted to talk to you about what happened at the park yesterday. Yeah, you know what, about that, um, the park, <clears throat> I owe you an apology. You and your children did not deserve to hear my rant. Yeah. Well, what about Elizabeth? Look, I was upset about breaking up with Jason, and I completely took it out on the wrong people. You called my wife a liar. I have problems. I just want to know With why. your wife, okay? Why? I'll tell you why. I resent her. I resent the fact that whenever she needs to be rescued, she goes to Jason and she somehow manages to put him into a position to choose and I always wind up with the short end of the stick. Which is why I'm here. I want to clear things up. Elizabeth told me point blank that she doesn't love Jason. But what I want to know, does Jason love her? I'm the next general hospital. I don't know what came over me. What do you Did Jason betray you with Elizabeth? What is she lying about? I want a family with you. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this. Maybe you won't. Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on...